is you do it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today guys we're going to be talking specifically about the salary cap mode in NBA 2K at 24 my team and why I am a massive fan of it in general now here's the deal okay I've not played that many salary cap games, I think maybe three or four total, but I'm a big fan of it because, I mean, is it is it easier than Unlimited 100%? It's, it's kind of like the casual Unlimited type of mode. However, it is very rewarding and fun at the same time. So you guys can see for Brent Berry, obviously there's uh, there are 11 days left. After those 11 days, everything is going to reset. So basically you got uh, 11 days to work your way to that 2,500 points for Ruby Brent Berry. After that, would I, you know, necessarily recommend playing it? No, but still, that's going to take you, you know, 15 to 20 games to get Ruby Brent Berry, which is a lot in the two-week span. Now, the reason I like it is because you can have a pretty bad team in the grand scheme of things and go out there and have success. Like, this team, I could probably go 15-0 and 0 with in the salary cap mode and then go get Brent Berry. And you want to know what I love about it? This team is a 5, 6,000 MT team. Like, I, 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 you can use your pre-order bonus, get Wemby, and boom, go into the salary cap mode as long as you do have Mike Miller. And that's, I think, why I like it the most. Like, you don't have to go and, and have all of these top cards, right? Because there is a salary cap. So you're not going to be facing, you know, the best teams. You're not going to be facing a bunch of Kyrie Irvings, all that stuff. You're going to be facing a bunch of budget teams. It's basically budget team versus budget team. And for all of those people that are complaining about the, the player market, Market, all this stuff you know what guys i get it but at the same time you can have fun in the in the salary cap mode and play the game it's i mean probably a what 15 20 minute game by the time it ends uh you know and uh and again the second half you just basically play to uh 24 points and, and and again it's just a lot of fun and you get really rewarded i played one salary cap game on the nobody spent uh, squad series today and i made like 5,000 mt so i'm working my way towards brent Berry. i'm making empty i'm having fun and it is just the, the the thing i like the most is the target score right so in, let's say I, i'm up 20 points at halftime i no longer just have to run the clock out it's now how fast can you score then that second half to be done with the game so again i feel like salary cap is going to be everybody's favorite mode this just year in general and uh and again that's just kind of my my prediction i'm could be completely wrong on it we'll see but i just feel like from top to bottom they revamp draft and limited kind of combine them together to form this salary cap mode that not only i but a lot of the community are having fun with so if i was you guys and i wanted to play online and, and i didn't have a great team salary cap is definitely the mode i would recommend because if you go into my team unlimited like or even if i were to go into my team unlimited with this squad i'd probably get crushed now if i was going to you know to 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 to, to, to salary cap with this squad i then now have a chance and again until your team gets to be that 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 good uh type of tier that you want that everybody obviously always aspires it to be you need some stepping stones, right? And so I'm glad they, that the 2K introduced the salary cap mode in general for that. Now, the question is, okay, Ty, but is Brent Berry worth grinding for? Now, I'm gonna say it like this, okay? Brent Berry, in my opinion, is absolutely incredible. Okay, you're looking at a card at shooting guard at 6-7 with an 82 three ball. Mike Miller's is an 86 with a Grayson Allen base, which I think is going to be just fine. Shooting badges, really solid as well. So, I mean, I, I, I just, I'm not, am I saying, you know, he's for sure going to be better than Mike Miller? No, because I don't know that uh, for sure. But what I am saying is, you know, as you're grinding salary cap, as you know, you're working your way up, you get, you know, a, 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 a lot, honestly, quite a bit of MT. Uh, just from playing the game brent berry is a pretty solid reward to add to your squad as well especially if your squad looks like mine is salary cap the you know most rewarding i don't know the most rewarding but it definitely is up there like i, I, I you get what 5,000 mt per game games take you know 15 minutes I can't think of, a, of another mode that's more rewarding than that. 
that's just me, but I really can't. So I feel like you're going to see a lot of people not only going to get Brett Berry, but going to get this 20,000 MT. I, I really do. Not a lot, but a few people that do that because, again, even, even though it is a ton of, of time you're grinding, you're getting 5,000 MT after every win. And then if you do get to these 5,000 points, you're looking at 20 extra thousand MT. Now, one thing I would tell you guys to be aware of is this does, again, reset after 11 days. So if you do want Brent Berry, if you are wanting uh, the, the, the total reward, which is the Amethyst Victor Ola Depot, you do need Brent Berry. So I do like the way it's structured. You know, if you do get all three rewards, you get the ultimate reward in Victor Ola Depot. Just gives you a little more incentive to grind this mode as well. So a lot that went into this salary cap mode. I honestly think 2K did about as good as they could have with this mode. Again, from, from what I'm seeing, if you're no money spent, you can really enjoy it. If you have the best squad in the game, you can still enjoy it because you can make a cheesy team and pick from your, your top guys. But uh, yeah, from top to bottom, I feel like if you ask the community what their favorite mode was to play so far in my team, I feel like 50% of people would say salary cap. I, 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 that's just my prediction because again, it, it, it's fun. You're playing basically a bunch of budget squads and I, I honestly hope it, it stays kind of similar. Obviously, the salary cap I do I do think is going to change. So we'll see You know when that happens, how that impacts everything. But the leaderboards work for it. I mean, you guys are seeing a ton of people just playing the salary recap mode in general so i feel like you know as far as a new mode you never know how 2k is going to do it at the start sometimes i feel like when they do have like a new mode that's introduced it's not necessarily working right like the new mode's not as fun as people were expecting i feel like the salary cap just blew everything blew everybody's expectations just out of the water in general now brent barry is not as good as a guy like bruce bowen i'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat things like he's not our best reward in general but is he a really solid or just reward on your way? Absolutely. I've said it before and I'll say it again. My favorite part about this game in general is you can play whatever mode you want and get rewarded. If your favorite thing to do is unlimited, you can play unlimited all day and get rewarded. If I look at leaderboards, okay, let's look at Wall. Wall has played 90 unlimited games, okay? After every unlimited game, I think you get 5,000 MT. You guys do the math. What's 5,000 times 90? You're looking at basically 400,000 MT by just playing my team unlimited. Now that's a lot of points. I'm not sitting here saying you guys, you know, got to do all that, but I'm just saying play whatever mode you guys have fun with and you will get rewarded. Salary cap, I think has been an absolutely outstanding addition to my team and it's only up from here. You don't need to run your bench in the salary cap mode. If you got a good starting lineup, again, your bench is really not needed. If you do want to see kind of how the salary cap modes and me going into play a game, I did do that on the No Money Spent Squad series today, so make sure to go check out that video. That's going to wrap it up for our video, guys. Drop a like on it. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.